Police in California intercepted this load of stereo equipment last February before it could reach its final destination in Australia. They found more than just speakers in the shipping containers, seizing more than $1.2 billion worth of methamphetamine and cocaine that was hidden in amplifiers, a record amount for drugs heading down under. At the same time as that was happening, RCMP were raiding a home in this Burnaby neighborhood, the home of a BC man allegedly linked to the Australian operation. In a BC Supreme Court civil lawsuit, the director of civil forfeiture claims that Australian border police found a picture of a block of a substance that appeared to be cocaine on Rolando Guajardo's cell phone when he tried to leave the country in June 2018. They allegedly traced the metadata back to this townhome unit. The lawsuit claims Guajardo was also observed in California loading up those very shipping containers along with one of six people who are now in custody in Melbourne. According to the civil claim, RCMP raided one of the units in this townhouse complex back in February and found $3.2 million in tightly bundled wads of cash in bags and boxes under the beds. This, according to the claim, is subsidized housing intended for low-income families. Guajardo is not facing any criminal charges in association with the drug bust. According to the lawsuit, he's 69 years old and claims to be retired. But the civil forfeiture claim says his residence in subsidized housing is not in keeping with his ability to travel to Australia and California on a regular basis, his ability to make multiple deposits of more than $10,000 in the bank, or the over $3 million in cash located throughout the residence. The director of civil forfeiture now wants to keep the money police allegedly found when they raided Guajardo's home. The townhouse complex is run by the Metro Vancouver Housing Corporation. They wouldn't speak about the case for privacy reasons, but insisted they have strict criteria for tenants, including a required legitimate proof of income. None of the claims have been proven in court. Jason Proctor, CBC News, Burnaby.